Prepper Basics. Are you an asset or a liability? This is Throttle Up Prepper. Prepper Basics. Are you an asset or a liability? This is Throttle Up Prepper. Welcome! I'm excited once again on location in my backyard. The first video with uh, some hopefully big improvements. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing my Boya or Booya. I think it's Boya. BYM1 uh, lapel mic condenser version. So hopefully the audio henceforth when I am outside of my actual office uh, will be greatly improved. So. Uh, make sure you leave me a comment let me know if you like it like the video and uh, be sure to subscribe uh, I'm on the push for a hundred baby it can happen I believe and also uh, I think we're gonna start doing something new uh, give you a little incentive to stick around to the end the bloopers uh, from this <laughs> and hence uh, forth uh, to come whatever I'm trying to say other videos in the future when there are because there's quite honestly yeah, it's not not many mistakes, but this one has some. So look for those at the end. So listen, the question for today is, are you an asset or a liability? Now, it doesn't matter if you have a, a, a challenge or a disability uh, like I do, and no, it's not mental. I can already see the uh, lower third in my mind. My son is probably itching to put something in. But you know, it, it doesn't matter if you're visually impaired or you're hearing impaired or you an amputee or whatever uh, the issue is um, or if you're completely you know normal or able-bodied or whatever you want to call yourself uh, we all have shortcomings some of us it's more obvious than others uh, some of us it's more severe than others but the idea is you know unless you're one of these lone wolf people which I don't get uh, I don't know how or why you would want to be all by your lonesome in a situation where, uh, you know, everything is in, in chaos. Uh, you're definitely, I think, in a better situation if you're part of a group, whether it's your family, your neighborhood, your church, your, you know, friends from work, whatever it is. But at any rate, um, you know, I ask myself all the time, like, well, gee whiz, you know, I can't see so good. I have some eyesight, um, but what do I do? How do I how do I make myself not a liability to my group? I, I don't want to have to put the group in danger. I don't want to have to have everybody waiting on me, hand and foot, and taking care of me. I want to be able to contribute. And if you're watching this, you probably do too. Even if, like I said, you don't have a challenge or a disability, uh, you want to be the best you that you can be. Uh, what have I done? What do I do? Uh, first of all. I've been working on this. I uh, lost 23 pounds. You know, I may not be the strongest uh, visual person in our group, not by a long shot, but you know what? I can walk. I can run. I can carry a lot of weight. I can carry bags. I can do a lot of stuff. I'm also uh, making myself an asset. Right now, I'm the only one in our group uh, that has ham radio skills uh, and a license um, and helping uh, and hoping <laughs> to help others uh, to come along and get that skill under their belt as well. Uh, there are a lot of things that I'm able to do to contribute. Uh, and you as well. Maybe, uh, you know, you're a person with a lot of medical skills, whether you're an EMT or a nurse or a doctor. Uh, you know, well, guess what? Maybe you don't have a lot of food stored up, or maybe you don't have weapons, but you know what? You are probably one of the most valuable people in your group. And even if you don't have any actual certifications, study, 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 read. Uh, now, before uh, things go badly, get all the knowledge that you can. Um, so there's a lot that you can do. There's always something that you can do. You don't have to feel that just because you have a challenge that you somehow are no good and that you aren't worthy or just uh, all the crazy thoughts that can come into your head that you know you're not less than you're just different uh, I'm different we're all a little different you, like I said even those who are perfectly uh, healthy uh, we're all a little different we're all God's special little children so I just want to make this video to encourage you that no matter what you got going on uh, 
no matter what limitation you think you might have, that's okay. Especially if you're part of a group because your skills, whatever they are, whether it's communications, whether it's medical, whether it's navigation, whatever it is, it's valuable to a group. Become part of a group. Find people that you can trust and link up with them. You have something to offer. Everybody does. Hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. I want to see a like and a comment down below. Be part of the community. And, uh, you know, we don't know what's coming our way, but come what may, make sure you're prepared. God bless. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Prepper Basics. This is nah, something else. All right, stop. <clears throat> check, check, check. Prepper Basics. Why? Oh, wait. That was the last video. <laughs> We're going to save this for the end. That's a good blooper. <clears throat> All right, ready? Three. Well, actually, stop it. Well, that way it's a 